So, hey, you guys. What's going on? What's poppin'? What's goody? What's up? <coughs> My voice, I still got this stank-ass cough. <coughs> but, hey, y'all. What's going on? It's your girl. Y'all, I got my real hair out. Look at it flourishing. Y'all know about three years ago, I freaking cut my hair off. So she is coming back so cute and pretty. I have like little straight ends, which is crazy because I don't straighten my hair that often. So I am thinking I'm going to snip those today. I'm probably about to snip them right now, honestly. But let me actually, let me talk to y'all. So hey, y'all, what's going on? What's popping? Um, let me tell y'all what's an update. So... I know I haven't been vlogging lately because I had so much going on. Let me give y'all a little spiel. I am back in LA. So currently right now I'm in LA. Um, I have been here for maybe like a week or so, but I had to like get stuff right and work on stuff as far as my YouTube. Um, everybody on my main channel been loving the content over there because y'all, I've been kind of digging and diving back into my old ways of the way I used to do YouTube. So I see people responding to that like so well. I'm so appreciative. Um, another thing that's been going on is the party happened. The Freak Nick Pool Party in Atlanta. It went down so good. It turned out so well. But we were supposed to have a videographer come film us. Like walk in with us. Well, hold on. We were supposed to have one film at the house and he just dubbed out so then we had another guy we had paid to be actually at the party so he did his part in his footage and i'll insert that here so y'all can see that but um other than that everything went well the party went good so that's why we really don't have no vlog and then i did pick up my vlogging camera for like a millisecond and when i tell y'all it literally was like i couldn't even vlog like we had so much stuff to do even with courtney like she was running late i was running late like we just was all over the place. So, that was saying, I'm sorry, my face looks so shiny, but it's because probably I've really been drinking a lot of water. And also, I don't know why my face is shiny, because the last time I put lotion on my face or any type of oil was damn near like, what is on my face? Any type of oil or anything on my face, that was like maybe two hours, three hours ago, so I don't know why, but I think my face is just clearing up. Um, but today I was supposed to do a spiritual video yesterday Did not get to do it. So I'm gonna do a spiritual video today Um, so I got my little stuff over there props and stuff. Let me show y'all like it's my little set So basically these are all my little spiritual things that I need to do like my spiritual process And then over here is where I'm gonna do the video So I've been trying to set up and figure out the perfect filming setup for me. So I've been working on that um But that's what's kind of been going on with me right now Courtney, <coughs> I hate these helicopters and all that shit, but that's how I be. But I'm not gonna lie, since I've been back in LA, I've been feeling a lot more like in my zone, in my element. I've been feeling a lot more grounded. So I don't know about that move to Atlanta right now, but as of right now, I'm kind of okay where I'm at and just going back and forth. And I still love being in LA. So, because I know I told y'all before, I was like, damn, I'm kind of moving to Atlanta, da, da 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 It was like I was moving, but it wasn't set in stone. But now it's like, mm, possibly. You get what I'm saying? Just, just a smidge. Um, I'm not so much in a rush, if that makes sense. Then what else I got going on? I'm trying to update y'all. Oh, as far as Courtney. Courtney, um, she plays in Arizona today. So they're come, her team is coming to LA tonight. And they're going to have two games back to back this week. So I'm going to be in LA all this week going to the games and stuff. So I am going to be doing that type of video. Um, and take y'all with me along the process on that. As far as my car, my car is in the shop right now because somebody busted my windows out a while ago. So I'm just now getting into the shop. So it's at the dealership and they are fixing on my car. Um, I try to get a fucking rental, but LA, all the rental places closed on the weekends and on Saturday they closed at one o'clock. So it was like a dub. And basically today is Sunday. So y'all gonna get this vlog tomorrow. Um, but pretty much that's what's going on with all of that. So it was no way in hell I could get me a rental. Log in through the Google Home app. That thing be scaring the fuck out of me. But um, it was no way I could get a rental. So I'm gonna get a rental tomorrow. But this week should be fun vlogs. Like I'm gonna be vlogging. I'm gonna be, you know, giving it cute and stuff. So y'all gonna be enjoying it. Um, and I think that's pretty much what's it. My house is clean. It smells so good. I got some new candles in. Let me show y'all some new candles I got. So I ended up getting some new candles. I just want to show y'all them real quick too. 
I'm over here burning my candle over here from six. She has a, a candle line called Zenta Line. Y'all should check them out because she has some bomb candles and they also have crystals inside of the candles. But I ended up getting, I don't like the way my flowers look. Let me, let me, let me spin this so it looks more prettier. Okay, so I ended up getting some flowers and I got some new candles. So let me do a little screenshot, period. So right here is these candles. I ended up getting it from this Canadian brand. When I tell you her candles smell so good, like I didn't know what they was gonna smell. I honestly was getting them for the aesthetics, but it smells like blueberry vanilla and like a cream. It smells so good. And one thing I also thought was that the candle would be slightly bigger, but they're not. They don't come with a base, so you would actually have to put them on something if you wanted to burn them and whatnot. But I thought that I liked them for, you know, the aesthetic. And then also I ended up getting this gun candle. But they all kind of sound the same. I guess she smells, she sells the same scent. I got one over there that fell down too. But um, I guess she got the same scents for all of them because they all smell like this blueberry, cream, strawberry, vanilla-y smell. It smells really, really good. Um, so I definitely thought that smelled good. But this one, I did not want red. I was supposed to be getting like a nude or body tone color. But she didn't have that color in stock. So she ended up sending me this one. And I mean, it was no big deal. I feel like I'm going to burn it though, just to see what it looks like. But it's overall so good. This is what it smelled like. This is what it's giving. But I thought these were so cute. I love them. Hey, Denim. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Mommy. Mamacita, please to meet ya. Mommy. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I got going on, y'all. If y'all was worried about your girl and what I got going on, that's what I got going on. Pretty, ooh, pretty much. Now my nail popped up. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, I just put these press ones on. But sometimes the little press ones be trying to not do right. And also, I said I was going to start doing stuff. So, for example, I think on my main channel, let me know what y'all think, because y'all know I talk tea over here with y'all. What y'all think about me going live on YouTube? I know I be going live on Instagram, but right now they got me going blocked from going live on Instagram. Why, I don't have a clue, because I've never done anything on Instagram while in. But I'm going to start going live on Instagram, I think, and see how I like it. I mean, live on YouTube and see how I like it. So, we're going to see... We is going to see. But I'm just waiting for this sun to kind of clear out so I can do this video. But I don't think the sun is going to even start clearing out until like, it's 2.30. So probably like 4. So that's when I'm going to take my ass out there and like set up and get the sun right. And just feel the vibes of what is giving me a spiritual energy. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to come out to clip these little pieces off the ends of my hair. Just a little straight pieces. Cause I'm just like, why are y'all straight and why are y'all like that? You know what I mean? Maybe I shouldn't, but I feel like y'all straight cause y'all need me cut. And I haven't had my ends cut in so long. So, I'm trying to figure out. Y'all probably like, girl, what are you doing here? Honestly, that is true. What am I doing, but bitch. I need my ends clipped anyway. Clearly this ain't the way to do it, but. I don't know why, when I just be doing these little spot clips, cause I've done this before, it be feeling like my hair be growing. Like even this one, like. One thing about me, y'all know I'm not scared to take no scissors to this head. Okay. Just finished my tarot video so what i'm about to do now is my little you know how you do the zoom in takes and it's like real close up so i can show like in detail so for example like um this is my incense so i will show that real close on the camera like that that's what i'm about to do courtney had a game i watched the game i forgot to record it for y'all show y'all but um nonetheless me and champagne i think about to go out and do something real quick so that might be snazzy and I probably need to pack a little bag or something so that way if I do go with champagne she can just drop me off or I can just go straight from there to where I want to go but um nonetheless the guy is here to fix my plumbing because something is up with this damn plumbing and shit so yes we outside I had to pull this hoe out y'all I had to get out man 
I've been in the house on lockdown. Yes, bitch. I'm so <laughs> glad Sham is here, host. Sham Payne found this place, so if it's nasty, it's her fault. <laughs> it's not nasty. I think I've been here before. I just really wanted to see how you know. What's the car? I've been here before. Yeah. I don't know why I was here. I was here with somebody. I think I was on a date or something. But yeah. I've been here before because I cooked the food in front of my face. Yes, that's why I wanted to bring you here because I was like, if you like, I've been here before and it was a line. But I don't even know. Can we go here with how many reservations? No, we don't either. It's yes, a bitch, I've ate here before. Oh, yes, I'm about to be bougie with my friend. About to be bougie and cook our own food. Pure. I'm um, here, Mikey. We recommend about Ooh. two to three minutes on each side. <laughs> I can bring you some oil. Thank you. Okay. Y'all, champagne got me at this place. What's the place called, champagne? Gayu Kaku. Gayu Kaku. And you're supposed to cook. This is, ain't this Korean barbecue? The Japanese. Japanese, Japanese barbecue. barbecue where you cook your food. Yes. Thank you. So where the meat? What, you cook all your veggies well, first? our meat ain't came yet, so we're going to cook our asparagus first. No, bitch. That's yeah. your asparagus. So you your little asparagus? I might have one piece, ho. We're going to show them when it's done. So how are we supposed to cook yeah. that? Just put it on the grill. What you want? You want your mushrooms on the grill? Ain't we supposed to cook our meat? Uh, yeah, it's gonna come. You want your mushrooms to be cooked after you cook the meat? <laughs> I don't know because if we if we cook the meat, should we not cook the veggies after we cook the meat? No. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, can we put the meat on the the veggies on the same grill as we put the meat? Yeah. Yeah, we can. We can put it because it's gonna come. Either in foil, it might be off foil. Child, we done got us some motherfucking drinks, honey. And having a good tea. <laughs> Champagne throw all our shit down here, bitch. <laughs> How we gonna eat? We gotta yes, go. period. So it comes with the miso soup, the two half salads, the edamame, then the assorted veggies, the rice, the Angus beef rib, uh, which is right over here. That's Angus beef. Yeah, okay. this is the sorrel beef. The yucky shabu beef and the beef strohangers. We're gonna have a few more meats coming here. Oh. Okay, so all this is beef. It's all yes. beef. Girl, that's why I was confusing my is it beef? So we can just put it straight on the thing. Um, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, just that you don't want to cover the grill too much, just because it will uh, demand the fire. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Over here cooking. Champagne still cooking them two little pieces of beef. <laughs> Champagne shit, you think? I need it to be well done. Girl, I don't think them gonna cook. <laughs> this one does. I think. I don't know. But I guess with beef, it don't matter because you can eat it medium well and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Only thing I worry about is the chicken. The chicken looking good though. Yeah, but I need to make sure I cook it. Cook it. So, I just got out the shower. Look, so today is Thursday. I'm gonna post this vlog tomorrow for y'all or at least try to. Um, Y'all, when I tell you I have, first off, I was supposed to ban vlog, but me and Courtney was beefing. And y'all know how it is, normal relationship shit. And she just was getting on my goddamn nerves. Like, oh my gosh, she was irritating me so bad, but we over it now. But you know how you just had that couple days when your partner is just a stickler? Like, it was just like, she was just doing too much. But uh, nonetheless, um, right now I just got out of the shower and I'm ready to get ready for the game. So I'm going to take y'all with me today and see how that go. The game is in LA, so... We gonna be outside tonight um but let me tell y'all something else that i did so it is what time is it five o'clock so let me tell y'all so basically um i want to tell y'all about what i ended up getting done but let me get comfortable and get me a drink and stuff because i want to really sit down with y'all and kiki uh, so i'm actually gonna try to clean up first before i do all that because i really need to tell y'all what the fuck been good with me so i'm trying to clean denim my little toys up I'm trying to figure out which outfit I want to wear. I don't know if I want to wear this white button up with the red boots, <clears throat> some shorts, and then my little red dream hat. Let me show y'all. And the red dream hat. Um, and then also we have the yellow outfit, Louis Vuitton bag, and this. I'm leaning more towards this though because of my hair, the way it's going to be set up, so... This is probably where I'm gonna be with it. Let me clean up though. I need to get this out of the way. Even this little bit of stuff. I was gonna wear this outfit down here too, but I changed my mind. And I also need to do my hair. What is this from? Oh, I'm not a little night dress. Yes. So I'm in my new vehicle. I'm in an Audi 8. What am I in? I think it's an Audi i8. 
or, oh the Audi Q5 so I got me a little rental because y'all know my car is fucked up Courtney is down here I would have vlogged us last night but we was arguing because she is a Taurus so she's very bullheaded and she likes to she, she's a little mean sometimes so I had to tell her about her motherfucking self I like this car it's like more comfortable like I think I'd be so into the Mercedes 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 that I genuinely like I like this vibe it's giving me especially like what's going on in my garage like it's letting me know bitch everything's cool you can slip out or whatever so yes I love this yes yes alright y'all I'm just literally making it back to the camera but I just did my hair um, here's my outfit. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it though. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna wear this. I wore the same shirt in Mexico, but I feel like I like it so much, so I want to kind of wear it again. But I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to tell y'all I had got. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting ready for the game. Champagne and June is on their way to my house, so that's what I'm trying to do. Let me set y'all up somewhere, so it's not like y'all just sitting here. But I'm trying to put my house back the way it was looking a little minute ago. But now, hey, Dana. Hello. I need to put this scarf back on and figure out how I really genuinely want to put my hair. <sighs> I'm gonna put some more gel on it too. Oh my god, my camera is going to run out of battery, so I'll have to come back. But yeah, that's what it's giving me so far. I'll be back though. Sam here. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so let me tell y'all. So I was telling Champagne, I didn't get into it, but I did today a freaking Reiki healing. But Champagne already know what it is. I didn't know that she knew. Yeah, my boyfriend is a Reiki practitioner. Okay, so basically with the Reiki healing, it's supposed to be like a healing that will like, what is it, release it's, things that you, um, think traumas kind of, yes. that things that you deal with. So with me, I knew I had certain traumas, but with the lady, I had booked this lady and she basically was doing her cards. And when she did them, basically the things that came out that said I had problems because I had wrote it down. She said the main things that came out from me is that I had problems with abandonment and faith. Those was like my biggest things. And I guess when she said faith is like trust. Right. So I was like, okay. So um, I was just like, what is my abandonment issues from? Is it from like family members or is it from like relationships? So she said it was 85%. So she asked the spirit and she said it was 85% relationships and 50% friends. I mean family. But I knew why. Because in my first relationship, with Brittany, I remember I ended up leaving that relationship and then I wanted to go, I left that relationship, then I ended up wanting to go back to the relationship and by the time I wanted to go back, she had already moved on with somebody that quick. Right. So then I feel like it also stemmed from my second, my recent relationship that I'm in now is, you know, we was in a relationship, we kind of broke up and then at that point, you know, me going to Turkey, all that other shit. So I already knew kind of it was like, I had abandonment problems, but I didn't know it was that severe. So with this, basically it's like she lay down, she, she basically tells me to get calm and she tells the spirit of Mahamra, okay. Mahama, Mahama, so I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. Sorry if I am, but I'll put it here. But basically they come into my, he comes into my body and he literally clears out every chakra of me. Like, you okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. So then when she was saying it, she was like, you know, fulfill her head right now, fulfill her eyes. So when I, when this spirit came inside of me, I felt like a white light going over my eyes. And then it was very scary because I was like, oh my God, I'm like nervous. And I could feel like the transition. Cause right. Did you feel it? Yeah. You I could feel the transition energy. of the energy coming in my body. So when the spirit got to my heart and my heart chakra and my heart, they tried to open it up and she couldn't see me, but she was like, and I knew I was tense cause I was nervous. And she was like, I need you to take deep breaths. Like open up your heart because right. your heart right now is very closed. Like they could feel it. And you know, when it's closed, the spirit can't get in to give me the relief of the energy. You get what I'm saying? Like relief, take the energy out so they can fulfill it with other, right, you know what I mean? Right, so they can put the healing in. Put the healing in. So at that point, she kept saying, I kept doing a deep breath and I kept trying to make myself relax. And then finally I felt it like take over my heart. Right. And when it took over my heart, I just started crying. That shit caught me off guard. Like I never, I 
never thought I was gonna be crying on no damn healing like that. So then it went down, and then she told me with my um sacral sac what is it called? Sacral sacral chakra. I be always get my words mixed up, but basically it's my chakra that's down here with my sexual energy. Okay. She said I had a lot of trauma there too. So I was like, oh my god. So they like the healing had took took in place there, and it took like a while for that to kind of get cleared out the same way. But she said that the hardest to clear um, the energy from, or the trauma from, was my sacral chakra. And then the one that was more o most open to receiving the energy was my heart chakra. Heart chakra. So then she took it out and then Mother Nature came back into my body. And then she also went to the Archangel of Michael. Okay. Ar what, is it, what is it called? The Archangel. Archangel Michael mm -hmm. came in and filled my body with like protection and stuff. So once it was done, she went and still did the cards. And they said that the spirit wanted to tell me the three cards to work on was forgiveness, blessings, and you know, destiny basically, like the will of fortune. Okay. Like I got luck coming to me, but what I really need to focus on is like my blessings, and I also need to focus on like forgiveness. And I knew my forgiveness was a big thing. So I had to go deep inside and like forgive like people that then did stuff to me. So even with me, I called so many people that I felt like my forgiveness was related to. Right, right. And I just told them I forgive them. And they were just like, huh? But a lot of people don't even know they did stuff to me. So I just, you know, forgave them. But that's for you. So that's it's for me. Yeah, exactly. So it went really good. And then after that, like, it was like. Like a mental belief. Yeah, but I believe it because I fucking that's felt it. So yeah. then I had an astro, like I started astro projecting. Mm -hmm. You know that is right. Yeah. When you can see it. So, so literally I was laying here and they said when you get this Reiki healing that sometimes your dog or pet will come and lay on you. She yeah, came and lay on me. Lay and then it was like she got off me so I thought she left because my eyes was closed. Right. So again, girl, why I started projecting like seeing myself. Like I could see myself laying here and I'm just like, is this shit real right now? Because right. I can see it in my head. I'm like, this shit ain't real. This ain't real. I kept thinking that. So girl, I was like, looking at myself and I could see denim right here and she was laying this way but I couldn't feel or see her next to me and a piece of my hair was like out of place so I was like if I wake up and my piece of my hair is out of place and denim is laying here I know I really was seeing this right because think about it, my eyes were closed the entire process so how would I see it girl when I opened my eyes denim was laying right here the same way I was thinking she was faced I kept trying to think of what I had on but I could not remember what I had on because the blanket was over top of me so up here and I think I was so out of touch with reality at that right. moment I genuinely didn't know what I had on but I couldn't see it because I had the blanket on. Right. So then when I took my blanket off, I was like, oh my God, like it was literally the same way I pitched it. And like when I tell you I feel so healed, I feel like all the trauma that was inside of me is like out my body. Like I've never felt this type of relief. And the easiest way I can explain it for somebody to understand is I feel the same way I did as a child before I knew like the traumas and stress of right. life. Right. But I had the same knowledge of an adult. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like a carefree adult. Like, you know how a child is so innocent, they don't know much, like they don't expect much, they don't know what they can get hurt from. Right. Like, that's what I feel like on the inside of, like, I have this healing and peace in me that I, like, I've never had any type of trauma or stress from me. But I'm still an adult. That shit was amazing. I recommend it. Yes. If y'all want to go to the girl, y'all need to, I'm going to put it in the link in the bio, because she's really freaking good. Like, all my friends went, everybody like it. Shit, man, you should get but I loved it. It was so, like, it was, I didn't even expect to get emotional, but I got so emotional because I just couldn't believe it. But I got to find my other friend because she's missing. <laughs> <laughs> We're the game man, Junebug here. Hey, Ju. <laughs> Not going to give us peace sign, bitch. <laughs> busy face. Champagne that got cute on them. Oh, don't forget y'all mask. Ooh. Chow. I hope they don't take this camera, bitch. What happened? You need it? No, you don't need it. I honestly don't feel like I'm gonna bring y'all because bitch, if I bring y'all and now I gotta bring y'all asses back, then I'm gonna be mad as fuck. I'm gonna just use my phone. I'm gonna see y'all. Yes, this is my hoes. What she doing? Ho one, ho two. Girl. Champagne, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna tell Champagne business, but yeah, they, we, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Champagne, they've been asking me a higher relationship. Are you gonna do it? Will you do my interview? Because I won't trust somebody else to do it with you. Yes, okay, I'm gonna ask you. Champagne, how are you feeling right now? 
I'm feeling really fucking confused. You look so good. Thank you. Champagne. I'm happy I'm with my friends. Period. Champagne, tell the people what you want to tell them. Because they've been asking, but you don't have to tell them because you're my friend, so you can do what you want to do. I will tell you guys the full version later. Period. Y'all need to find my friend talk about it. Because yes. the people that I was in the relationship with that you guys can see, I don't I can't speak for them. A hundred percent. And let me tell you something, my friend is a good person. Period. So she would never do nothing foul. Period. And if you bitches say anything about my friend, I'm gonna have to block y'all. No, we're fighting. Well, that's as much as I can do, bitch. I can block them. Block them, bitches, because they don't know us. They don't know, they don't know, they don't know my know friend, and my friend is a good woman. Y'all gonna find out, and then after that, it's up to y'all. Period. Don't it's say, up to you, my fuck. friend. After that, a hundred percent. Goodbye. <laughs> and, Thank you and for having my back. Interview is out. We about to go out. No, I'm saying interview is done, ho. Oh yes, over. <laughs> yes, I'm with my hoes. They got heels on, honey, cause they cute, bitch. <laughs> Yes, I'm with my hoes. You my... know how many times you done made this video? Period. <laughs> <laughs> no, how many times I made this video, bitch? Uh, Clearly, I don't remember because I'm drunk. I invited June to Pride and June bought her flight. She said, I'm booked, bitch. And I'm booked. Champagne, you know, Champagne got a life, mama. Okay. I got shit to Champagne do. don't like to party no more. I got shit to do. I'm trying to get rich. I know you're trying to get rich, okay, but you need right, to take right. some time. June booked her flight, but champagne. I might be there. Just never not you gonna say do it again, and you might be there, bitch. I thought you were gonna say because yes. I wanna come. I just I don't know if I can. Yes. I just it's very it. disappointing. Girl, you know how much money I've been. You could put the insurance on it. Yeah, but they just trying to tell me this stupid shit like, oh, the insurance don't qualify for this if you don't got COVID. That's what they told me last time for my salon. No, you pay for twenty dollars for the insurance. It applies for I everything. Did. I paid for it, and they told me. Well, that. I know how to rig COVID tests. Okay. Yes. I know. You, I got. You. Ooh, I don't know where my man at. My trip gets me thirty days to travel, but I already got it. You How?